think companies are embracing the need to be more purposeful because when society thrives, business can flourish. And I think there's an ever increasing understanding of the role that business has to play in helping that happen. So it's a truly symbiotic relationship and consequently being purposeful allows a company to define why it exists and what it is bringing to the needs of the moment. And as a result, it creates a basis for engaging all of the different groups who are interested in the company's success, whether that's customers, colleagues, shareholders, regulators, um, in some instance, other partners. And being clear on your purpose allows you to bring all of the right groups together around a same common intent. And it allows an organization to have greater impact as a result of that clarity and I think longer term success. And my experience of working in purpose-led organizations is the sharper we have been on what the purpose is, the faster we've innovated, uh, the more impact we've had, the more relevant we've been, and the bigger role that we've played in helping our customers and the communities we're part of really thrive. And of course, those are the conditions in which we can continue to succeed. And as a CFO, I would also say there's no dichotomy that I've experienced between being purposeful and being profitable. Uh, these aren't alternative choices. In fact, the most purposeful organizations are often the most economically successful because they get very good at doing what they believe they exist to do and create conditions that allow that to be sustainably investable. I think social purpose does help business be more resilient because it gives the clarity as to why that business exists. And inevitably, circumstances change around us. Context changes, the pandemic, of course, being a spectacular example of that. And at times, the context changes to the extent where it leads us to question the way in which we've been doing business or the way we've been doing business isn't possible anymore. Without the anchor of purpose, it's then extremely difficult, I think, to navigate what the right response is because you've got nothing to ground yourself in. In having a purpose and in having that grounding, it enables an organization to pivot and adapt because they ask themselves the question, how do I fulfill this in this changed circumstance? And I think that is the foundational element of actually being successfully resilient. I think the second aspect to it is what, of course, it does for everyone working in an organisation. Purpose is often the thing that powers up culture for all of the people working in the company and they understand why they're there. It's often part of the reason they've chosen to be part of an organisation. And as the circumstances become more challenging, it's much more mo motivational to say, let's focus on delivering our purpose in these changed circumstances. That's much more exciting than saying let's be more profitable or let's sort out our cash flow. Those things actually often flow from being focused on the critical task. But it does play, I think, a big role in, in maintaining that colleague motivation and focus, uh, often key to succeeding in challenging circumstances. So for the very group, it's really important to have strong partnerships with charities. At the moment, our partner is the fantastic literacy charity Beanstalk. And that work is really important to us because our hometown is Liverpool and we also have a really strong operational footprint in the East Midlands. And the reality is that those parts of the country are those with the most challenging levels of literacy in the UK. We know that from all of the data. And of course, we know that for people to thrive, the more literate they are, the more likely it is that they're going to succeed in life, uh, not just academically, but if you think about how much of the current world is written and how much information is consumed through the written word, it's vastly increased uh, even 
in the last 10 years. And yet some of the issues around illiteracy are incredibly stubborn. And therefore helping in particular the areas that we call home thrive more, addressing this critical societal issue is very important for us. And of course that takes the form of raising money for the charity to be able to do its work in particular in school settings. But we really hold to the philosophy that we want to bring the whole of ourselves to that partnership. And that means, in particular, as an online retailer, bringing all of our digital skills and talents to bear on the way in which the charity works. Now, this partnership actually started just before the pandemic hit. And we were going to help them with that anyway. But goodness me, that's been crucial as we've navigated a completely changed context where volunteers can't go into schools, where children become harder to reach, and making sure that we've helped them develop the right digital assets, the right ability to reach children has been a critical bit of work. So it's not just about fundraising, that, that's, that's important, of course, but it's about involving all of our colleagues so that they can bring their skills to help the partnership flourish for the longer term. And, and this is all part of our philosophy that a... A stronger society is one in which business continues to flourish and we have our plot to play. I think the micro donations movement is so important because it allows, it enables mass participation in making a difference. And of course, what it does is take a habit that we're often used to, putting a few pennies uh, in a jar and make it modern and relevant and accessible and in doing so it vastly increases the scale and scope of the impact that we can all have together now it's a partnership between charities like pennies technology companies businesses and of charity partners and of course ultimately the consumer and one of the things that i think is really important about the idea of a movement is it's bringing all of those people together to have a long-term sustainable impact and speaking as someone who is also a charity trustee I know not only was this important pre the pandemic but for so many charities now their circumstances have been incredibly challenged by what has happened over the last two years and the micro donation movement that pennies is leading is a lifeline for charities to continue having the impact that they're having at a time when the need is greater than I have ever seen it in my time being exposed to the charitable sector. And so Pennies is helping in many ways keep critical charities going to fulfill a mission that COVID has made even more critical. And I think therefore this whole idea of partnership and coming together across the business, technology, charitable uh, community together with consumers, I think that's incredibly exciting. It's got an awful amount of potential. I think people enjoy the micro donation giving experience because it's fun. It's easy. Um, it, take, it, it, it takes nothing when you're, you know, when you're ordering a pizza. It takes nothing to click the button. When you're buying your petrol, it takes nothing to press the button and tap the card. It's, a, it's people enjoy it because it's easy to be involved. It's incredibly accessible, and of course, you get the hit of knowing that in a small way you've made a really positive difference and you're doing that I think people know when they do it they're doing it alongside lots of other people who are doing it at the same time as well and so there's this sort of nebulous sense of being part of something bigger and I think therefore the ease of it the fun of it makes it something that's really attractive to consumers. I've actually seen instances where I've been involved with organisations who have pennies, and it's even led on to bigger things where someone making a donation is inquired about why and where's it going, and great store colleagues in particular who tell a story well around the partnership understand that the customer actually might be a potential partner in the future. Uh, I think about being involved in penny supporting literacy in the past and teachers and head teachers who've come in to, and, and, and ended up making a donation through a purchase then understand that actually that partnership may help them locally where they are. So it's incredibly open and allows people to participate. What's not to like about that?
So pennies and micro donations definitely have a role to play in evidencing our purpose, particularly as our purpose is shown through what we do for the community. Because of what, of course, what pennies does is place that activity in front of the customer by inviting the customer to be part of it through making a micro donation. And what that then helps, of course, is, is explain to the consumer why it is we're asking that question and allows them to understand what we're up to and what's important to us and how we are behaving as an organization and, and, and working towards the purpose that we've described. Most customers, of course, understandably, can't recite your purpose statements, but you can show them what you're doing. And I think what Penny's allows you to do is show rather than tell and to involve the consumer in doing that. And as a result, it's really important in terms of visibility, engagement, involvement, and actually loyalty uh, from customers because people want to shop with organizations that they feel share their values and instincts. And Pennies is a great way of being able to do that. Well, I think Pennies is really exciting. You know, I love Pennies. I've known it for a number of years now. And I think what excites me about it is just the power of such a straightforward and simple idea. Just give a few pennies at the end of a digital transaction. The universe of impact for pennies is absolutely massive. And in doing that, the ability to, through the micro donation movement, catalyze a big impact on society, I, I think is really huge. The progress that's been made over the last few years has been exponential. And there's huge, huge headroom, I think, on the impact that can be had. And I, and I, 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 I think the beauty in all of it is just the sheer simplicity of the idea meeting almost unlimited potential and i think it's going to be incredibly exciting to see how that evolves over the coming few years i think the biggest opportunity for pennies is to continue to draw more people into the movement it's an idea with limitless potential and what's exciting about it is that it is relevant to almost every organization that has a consumer interaction. They can have pennies in some way. And therefore, the opportunity is simply to expand the movement, to keep making the case, to keep agitating, to keep challenging and pushing, as I know pennies do so well, and to help. Uh, and one of the features of pennies is the way in which the team works with its partners to make things possible and therefore i think just bringing more people into the movement is the biggest opportunity over the coming few years well our customers are families uh, we describe them as families on a budget and these families are deeply rooted in their sense of home and community. Their family matters to them, their wider family is crucial, the place where they live is a source of pride. And therefore, what I think our customers would and do love about pennies is the impact it has in the place they're proud to call home. And their ability to understand that in making a small contribution as they make a purchase, they are making a difference to the lives of people like them uh, and lives in the place that they're happy to call home. And I think it's that sense of doing something for your community in a very straightforward and easy way that makes it so attractive uh, for customers. And, and I don't doubt at all it has a deep resonance for the consumer that we seek to serve. People thinking of becoming part of the pennies movement 
For businesses, I would say this is really easy to be part of. I've led a business that has implemented pennies. It was incredibly straightforward. The technology is really easy. So make it a priority because the knock-on impact to your business of doing this will be much bigger than the raising of funds, important though that is for your, for your charity partner. It's much, much easier than anyone in IT is currently telling you. So take the plunge and do it. To charities, and I'm privileged to be a charity trustee, I would say come and find out more about how pennies can help your charity thrive so that in turn you with pennies who i know would do it with you can have a great conversation with your business partners who are also working with your charity so for, for, for the charities who are have been incredibly adaptable during covid and are still thinking hard about what the post-covid future looks like and how they're gonna make the numbers stack up pennies is part of the solution that you are looking for and it is a way in which you as a charity will strengthen the long-term relationships you, you have with businesses whether they be local or national so join the movement if you're a charity well the thing that from a charity point of view the thing that charities are desperate for are to cover the costs of the day-to-day -day running of the charity. Now, if a business come along and says, look, here's 10,000 pounds, but you need to do project A, they will do project A. The thing that is really hard for charities is to pay for the lighting and the heating and the paper and the, yeah, all that kind of stuff. And pennies is an income stream that doesn't have to go on specific projects. It's, it's income to the charity that helps them run themselves and be sustainably successful. So it's, um, it, it, it's um it's kind of gold dust for charities.